21 lives, a memorial changing and growing each day, a steady parade of mourners, as parents question whether police acted swiftly enough. They could have done something quicker. I mean, this could have been been over in a couple of minutes, if not, you know, not 45 minutes. Javier Casares lost his little girl, Jacqueline, nine years old, a real firecracker, he says. She can be feisty, you know, and uh, kind of comforts our hearts is to think that she'd be the one of the ones that was brave and tried to help, you know, as much as she could. He's tormented, believing officers should have moved in faster to stop the shooter. God knows how long my little girl or the rest were, were like that. On Tuesday, he was in the crowd of anguished parents outside begging police to push into the school and pleading to get closer themselves. This is one of those things, you know, just sort of father's, father's love, father's anger, you know, you want to get in there. As far as everything goes, I mean, I, I honestly think that it, it could have been... So a lot more could have been prevented if they were prepared. They were taking gunfire. Today, Texas Rangers tried to clear up the timeline, admitting from when the shooter crashed his truck to when he entered the school, he met no resistance from armed police a full 12 minutes. He walked in unrestructed initially. So from the grandmother's house to the bar ditch to the school, into the school, he was not confronted by anybody. Two officers followed him in four minutes later, but they took fire, backed off, and called for help. Approximately an hour later, U.S. Border Patrol tactical teams arrive. They make entry, shoot and kill the suspect. An hour. By that time, students and teachers were dead. Should they have advanced sooner? That's a tough question. I don't have enough information to answer that question just yet. Casares is determined to get some answers. I promised my little girl on... on <laughs> Well, I saw her at the hospital, and I promised her, you know, her, her, um, her death was not going to be, you know, in vain. I'm, I'm going to, I mean, do whatever I can. The Uvalde shooting is resonating throughout Texas. Maria Martinez and her daughter drove from Houston. This hits home. I lost my son due to gun violence, and I'm upset. I'm upset that this is happening. These kids had a whole life ahead of them, and I'm really, really upset that this kid got a hold of some guns. It's, it's out of control. We watch this and think it just keeps happening. Do you think this will make any difference? I mean, I hope so, but I doubt it. It is a sad commentary. So, Susan, this has already devastated families, and tonight we're hearing about another tragedy. Yeah, so difficult. One of the teachers who died, Irma Martinez, her husband, Joe, had delivered flowers at her memorial today, and when he got home, he suffered a massive heart attack and died. He was just 50, and they now leave behind four children. It's just another piece of the trauma that's gripping Uvalde this week and will take so much time to heal. Indeed. Susan Ormiston in Uvalde, Texas. Thank you.